Hello, I'm Mrs. Rittner, and today I'm going to help you create your digital one-pager portfolio using Google Slides. To get started, you're going to receive a template that looks something like this, and from there, you can create something that looks like this. Here's how I did it. I began just by following my directions and the arrows on the side of my slide. First, I'm going to fill a shape with color, selecting a shape up here. I choose a circle and adding a grade level. I'm going to choose eighth grade. That's kind of small. Let me make it a little larger. Add a little more depth to it. And I'm going to make it white because I'd like the background of my shape to be black. To do that, I come up here to my paint bucket and choose the black. There we go. I have a shape with the color and my grade level. Next, I'd like to write my name here. And since this is an example, I'm just going to call it example. The slide that you saw previously included the colors of the University of Hawaii, which are black and green. And so I'm going to create my slide using those colors. All of my text boxes are going to be green. If I hold down the shift key, I can make multiple selections at a time. So I'm going to make all of these boxes and shapes green. There we go. This is one way to have a thematic look. Next, I'm going to change my font to look a little bit more athletic. I'm going to use the graduate font, but if I wanted other choices, I would just click more fonts, check the ones that I want, and they would be added to my selection list. Here, I choose to use the graduate font like this. Make it bold. Over here, you're going to add a picture of you, preferably something that's somewhat recent. Here, I'm going to add a quote or a verse to live by, either by typing in words or selecting an image. I'm going to do a Google search for quotes about perseverance because I think that's important in an athlete and for life in general. So here I am looking at quotes on perseverance. I'm going to look at these images. And I like this one here. Don't be discouraged. It's often the last key in the bunch that opens the lock. If I right click, which is a two finger press on a Chromebook, I can copy the image. Now I'm going to go back to my slide and paste it into place. I'm going to get rid of this green because I think this box is going to be just fine on its own. And that's what I mean when I say that you can use the template or not. There we go. Next, I'm going to find images of book covers. I already happen to have one here. I can put it right on top of the green box, or I can erase the box if I like. Your choice. Here, I'm going to include images of my favorites. Your favorite restaurant, fast food, song, group, movie, video game, you name it. Over here, I'm going to feature my best writing. So I'm going to start by adding a link to my most challenging piece of writing. I've written in the words most challenging. I'm going to make it white so it's more visible and put it in my graduate font and center it while I'm at it. And then I'd like to link my document in my Google Drive to this box. So I'm going to insert a link. I happen to have my most challenging piece here, but if I didn't, I would just capture the URL of the document in my Google Drive and paste it in. I would like this to be a little bit more readable. I'm gonna change it back to white. Having a little trouble with this apparently. Just do it this way. There we go. That's how you insert a link. 
I can insert a link in this same way to any text box, shape, or image. That's how I will insert links to my writing. Here I'm going to insert icons to my favorite apps. I don't have to make it fit in the circle. I can just add images that go with my icon. Let's get rid of that circle there. I don't think I need it. Kind of a placeholder anyway. There we go. So any apps that you like, find your three favorites and insert an icon. Up here in this box, you're going to write a bio about you. Let's make the text white so it's a little bit more readable. Here you include your name, your age, your place of birth, etc. Look through the items on this list and write in the third person. Mrs. Rittner was born in the state of so-and-so in the year such-and-such. Such. Her family includes, get the idea? You're writing in the third person like you're writing it's like somebody else is writing about you. Then I'm going to add an image or color as background. So I have a football theme. I could choose a color for my background, and that's always nice. In my case, I think I want to choose an image. And I would like to search for a football field. I think I would like... The University of Hawaii, actually. So here it is. I'm going to choose this one right here, Aloha Stadium. I select it. And there it is in the back of my one pager. Now I have incorporated a theme by using colors of a team and incorporating an image. And I have started on my path to completing my one pager. Let's take a look at some other examples from previous students. This student chose kind of an oceany theme with blue and yellow. She chose not to use the format, but she has all of the required elements. Her quote, her favorite apps, pictures of her with her friends, with her family, another quote, her bio, a button to show where the audio is included, favorite books with links to the writing that correspond with them. Here we have a completely different style, but equally good. Can you see that it's really up to you how you want to put all of your elements together? Make sure, though, if you use buttons for your writing, that it's clear what you're connecting to. You have to provide a label or a visual cue for your reader. This student chose another color palette with the lavenders, but again, incorporated all of the elements. Here we have a space type of a theme and color combination. Here we have a gray, wintry look. This student really enjoys basketball and chose some of those colors. Here we have the water and an ocean. Again, a bit of a gray look. Here, baseball, American's pastime. And here, lots of quotes to live by. And again, everything's there, labeled in a format of the student's choice. This is really an exercise where you get to Choose the theme that you want and bring together all these different elements. Use this checklist in the box to guide you, as well as the arrows and prompts on the side. I hope you enjoy creating your digital one pager.